Someday. There we go. We have the final session of the day coming up. Uh, okay, so final session of the day. We have Nikita here, uh, and the uh, presentation is about Federal Badges. Floor is yours. Thank you all for joining. Uh, it's, it's a crowd. I didn't expect these many people here. So uh, before I begin, I would, uh, before I begin to talk about the Fedora badges, how to, I would like to briefly introduce myself. So hey, I'm Nikita Tripathi, and I'm a final year engineering student at Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee. And I interned at the Fedora badges design project last year as an outreach intern for the summer cohort. And uh, I've been contributing to Fedora ever since for the design requirements. And I would just like to mention before I start, uh, this presentation could not have been made possible without the guidance of Mary Norden and the contributions of Chris Idoko. So here we go. Here's the content reveal of my presentation. Uh, I will introduce the badge system, then we'll walk through on how to use them, and uh, then explore what lies behind, beyond the horizon. Okay. As we all uh, already might know, Fedora Badges is a fun initiative created somewhere towards the end of 2012. So this initiative was uh, to induce a sense of recognition and achievement in contributors for their engage engagement with the Fedora community. Uh, it, the, these engagements could be through their contributions, in, uh, through their involvement, or their participation with the Fedora community. So effectively, this introduced game-like elements into the non-game environment of the contributor to make the ex contributor experience even better, while encouraging them uh, for the holistic development of the Fedora infrastructure. This method, in technical terms, is called gamification. So to see what uh, Fedora has done so far with the badges, you just need to go to the Explore page of the Fedora badges and uh, here is a snapshot of it. So with over 600 badges in existence and many in the making, the Fedora badges have maintained their style for a long time by following a strict style guide. This guide specifies uh, the colors, fonts, shapes that should be used in all the badges. And it also provides instructions for the overall design of the badges. So the style guide has helped to ensure the, that the Fedora badges are consistent in their appearance. And uh, this makes them easy to identify and recognize, which is important for a program that is designed to reward the contributors. Now that uh, we are familiar with the what's, let us have a look at the hows and create our own badge. So to start off, we should have a uh, start with a clear purpose, so, which means asking yourself, uh, what, do you, what do you want your badge uh, to communicate? Are you trying to identify people? Are you trying to promote a message? Or simply make a statement? Once you know your purpose, you can start to develop a design that aligns with your goal. And just like Leonardo da Vinci said, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication, so keep it simple. Badges should be easy to read and understand. Use clear fonts and colors to avoid too much clutter. Stick to the Fedora brand. Fedora has several branding elements. Use the Fedora logo and style guide. Incorporate them into your badge design. This will help to create a cohesive look and feel for all the badges. And most importantly, be creative. Badges are a great opportunity to get creative with your design. Use illustrations, have a look at the photos, or even custom artwork to create a unique and memorable badge. In design, it is very important to get feedback. Once you have a design, show it to people in the community and get their feedback. This will help you to identify any potential problems or areas for improvement. So Fedora Badges has several existing badge CDs. These CDs are a fun way to create another dimension to the Fedora Badges, such as collecting a set of badges and help to develop more content. Moreover, the Fedora badges are classified into six main categories. These are development badges, content badges, the quality badges, community badges, miscellaneous ones, and event badges. And as you must have noticed, the, all the categories have a corresponding colored ring associated with them. 
The Fedora badges came into existence about a decade ago, and the badge template stayed the same through these years. Over time, some shortcomings were noticed in the existing design, and hence came the need for a new badge template. So learning from the research and discussing uh, the previously identified improvements, I made a series of iterations. In the new version, I reduced all the white space to lay more emphasis on the graphics. I removed the drop shadow from the design in order to make it look more sleek and modern. And during the designing of the iterations, I was also inclusive of a future possibility of dark mode being implemented across all the Fedora websites. In the original design, as we can see, there was a repetition of the vector shape provided. In simpler terms, the border, the white space, and the graphic space were all made out of a single shape. Because of this, mathematically, the design was balanced, but this created a visual imbalance to the eyes that the corner is a bit thicker around the turn. So to improve this, I introduced a solution that instead of using the given shape as the border, we could add an outer border to the graphic base shape and make it look more visually balanced. This added to an oversimplification to the previously existing separate layers in the SVG file. The simpler design also added to the simplicity of usage. So I reduced the numbers of uh, the editable layers. I added a clip group so that anyone can simply put their uh, design inside of it and a body group uh, where the design could be put and it will automatically get clipped or like hidden, uh, and it will not leak beyond the borders. So this el eliminated the traditional method of separately clipping the objects, which can be observed in a lot of present badges. And for the sake of consistency, I also added uh, the typical typography composition for the badges and patterns in invisible layers. And I provided a instruction layer, which can be deleted and it also uh, recommends the contributor to delete all the unused layers so that when the badge is produced, the, uh, it uh, occupies letter, uh, lesser storage space, so the website doesn't take a lot of time to load because of the badge size. So in order to first accommodate more clear guidelines, secondly to assist contributors maintain consistency across the Fedora badges, for the deliver deliverance of the authentic Fedora experience, and to give the decade-old badges style guide a modern refresh, I created the new official Fedora badges guide. In the new guideline, I included all the essential instructions from the previous guide, and I added a few updates. So as you can see here, since there was an update in the Inkscape application and a few technical things changed in the export options, I added those, so there's a 256 by 256 pixel and a 96 DPI, which was previously incorrectly mentioned in the old guideline, so it has been corrected now after the update. In addition to the previously laid guidelines, I introduced some new ones to help contributors to Fedora badges. For example, on this page, I am suggesting a good trick of trade uh, for color selection, that is to select any column and then uh, go with the top three rows of the main palette for the badges design composition. I also included some of the unwritten rules about topics which needed consistency, such as this one. So while some of these rules might seem obvious to everyone, some of them might not be, but they need to be followed. And I remember I had to ask about uh, this one specifically with Mary a lot. I had to trouble her a lot during my first making of the badges. So here's a top secret sneak peek into the new look of the badges, which are yet to be released. But hey, what are you waiting for? Go make your own badge today. Be creative, express yourself, and get involved. Thank you all for being such a great, uh, nice audience, and I'm really grateful for this opportunity, and my experience at Fedora has been the most enriching ones I've had so far. So, any questions? Okay. Ah, so, 
is there going to be any update uh, to the guidelines uh, about issuing badges to contributors? About? Uh, about actually issuing badges to contributors? No, uh, not that I am aware of. Oh. Uh, I, I'm just curious uh, if you also designed some guidelines for that uh, or not. Uh, no, no, no. Oh. Uh, uh, and maybe a list of badge ideas uh, that people can start from. Badge ideas? Yeah. Like a list of badges that people may uh, want to introduce. Oh. Can you please repeat? I'm not able to... Uh, like ah, well, any specific ideas that beginners uh, who want to try their hand uh, at designing badges uh, may start from? Oh, so uh, since uh, we are at the flock event, why not uh, people start with uh, designing the events badge for the flock event? Uh, uh, are, uh, any badge uh, uh, can be designed, like uh, uh, most of the badges are of the beginner level, so uh, anyone can go and design a badge. Uh, there are some badges that require new artwork, so that would go for maybe the intermediate or advanced level, uh, but uh, beginner badges, there are a lot of those, and uh, anybody can go and design those. Mm -hmm. I see, thank you. Maybe I have the answer you were uh, looking for. I think you were looking for inspiration on how to design badges, if I got your question correctly. Yeah. Well, you can uh, look on uh, uh, Pager. There's the Fedora Badges uh, project. Uh, it has all the uh, badges that are available in there. And you can look at these uh, designs and uh, PNG, SVG files are all in there. And you can use that as a starting point and modify and whatnot. I mean, it's open source. It's, uh, it's, it's out there for you. And um, otherwise, look on badges.fedoraproject.org and uh, whatever badge takes you fancy and use that as an inspiration. The, um, the source code is available and the images are available. Uh, everything is there. So I would just like to add up on that. Uh, when I first started contributing to badges, uh, for me to understand what type of artwork uh, Fedora wants, I just went to this uh, Fedora Badges Explore page. I just looked at all the badges and got an idea about what kind of artwork do they want. Then I read the guidelines. There is a complete uh, set of rules that I need to follow, the border size and the shapes. And there are some already existing artworks that you can just cut, paste, and use them over the badges. So those are helpful. Hey Nikita, great presentation, and I've been really excited to learn about all the new design work going into the badges, along with the, the ongoing work that we have to do badges 2.0. So it's been really cool to see also the artwork getting the refresh and uh, getting a new look. So my question is, so since you were an intern last year with Fedora, I was just curious to know uh, what you've been up to since your outreach internship finished, and uh, I know you mentioned you're finishing your last year of school, but just kind of curious to know what you've been up to since Outreachy and if you're, uh, what your next steps have been since your internship. Okay, so after my internship at Outreachy, uh, I worked with Software Freedom Conservancy uh, as a consultant for their graphic designs and I made uh, graphic designs for their event, FOSSI, this year. Uh, and. Uh, Besides that, I've been contributing to Fedora. Uh, I, was, uh, I was in the design chat, and uh, many of you must have known that uh, this Creative Freedom Summit that occurred around January, right? So we used to make uh, some banners and promotional social media uh, 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 posts. So I made uh, some backgrounds for that, and those were used. And I keep contributing as much uh, time I get uh, during my coursework and all the things that are happening. So uh, that, would, that would sum up my open source journey so far. More questions? So this is a, a very deeply technical question, so bear with me. But um, what's your favorite badge okay so uh, it's it's not up uh, yet uh, I made this badge during my contribution time so it's a high five but it's hive five badge 
So I, I really like this one. I made it during my contribution. Uh, what, what did I do? How? Uh, I, don't, I don't really remember. There were some specifications. But I was too focused on the artwork. <laughs> I also have a question. I know that you are pretty good at Inkscape, since you can draw that, but for someone who is not very good at Inkscape, how, how can I learn and maybe start creating a batch? Okay, so if, if you uh, have never done any graphic design and you want to start with Inkscape, there are online tutorials on YouTube, uh, and you can also find it on the official Inkscape website or on the Fedora Badges website. So there is a list of tutorials for you to learn Inkscape from. Thank you. I was also just going to add at Creative Freedom Summit, I remember there were some sessions for beginners on doing things with Inkscape. So also the recordings from the Creative Freedom Summit in January would probably be a good resource too. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the presentation. Okay. Well, that's it for today for this room. Uh, enjoy the game night. <laughs> yeah, so just some housekeeping stuff. So we'll be on pause, I believe, until 6. So the game night is going to be in the room upstairs where we had lunch. If you have any board games, card games, anything that you brought along with you, please bring them with you. Uh, we will have the candy swap, if I remember right, at 6, or no, 7.30. 6.30, thank you, 6.30 to 7.30.